Welcome. In this Blender tutorial, I will demonstrate how to animate materials using a sound file. Other Blender 3D tutorials are available in our playlists. For this tutorial I will demonstrate how to create this animation. The principles in this tutorial can be used to animate almost any material configurations and colors. We will start by selecting the lamp and cube and deleting them. Reset the camera's position and rotation by pushing Alt-G, then Alt-R. Move the camera up on the Z-axis by pushing the G key, then the Z key. Drag the camera up with the mouse. Press 0 on the number pad to look through the camera. Add a plane and scale it up so the plane fills the camera view. Apply the scale of the plane. We will now create the materials. Click on the shading workspace. Add a new material, then select the principled node and delete it. Add an emission node and increase the strength to 3. Add a color ramp and add the color socket to the emission node. Add a magic texture. Then connect the color socket to the factor of the color ramp. Change the depth to 3. Add colors to the color ramp. Change the interpolation mode to ease. Then slide the color stops to get a color pattern you like. Right mouse click on the scale of the magic texture. Select insert keyframe. Change the top left pane into the graph editor. Right mouse click on the horizontal division between the shader editor and the 3D viewport. Select horizontal split. Then change the editor type to a timeline. The frame rate should be set before adding the sound file. This will avoid issues with the synchronization to the animation. With the magic texture node selected, expand the graph editor information.
We can then see the keyframe information. Click on the key menu and select Bake Sound to F Curves. Navigate to where your sound file is saved and click on the Bake Sound to F Curves button. The F Curve information is then updated to follow the music. When the animation is played, the material scale is adjusted in time to the music. For the music to be audible it needs to be added within the video editor. Click on the video editing workspace. Make sure the timeline is at the start. Then click on the add menu. Then sound. Navigate to where the sound file is located, then click on the Add Sound Strip button. When adding a clip to the video editor, the description will contain the number of frames in the clip. This can then be entered into the animation length. Or a desired animation length can be added. Click back onto the shading workspace. To replicate the animation, Two more nodes will be added. Click on the Add menu, then add a mapping node and connect it to the Magic Texture node. Add a Texture Coordinate node. Connect the generated socket to the vector of the mapping node. You can experiment with using the other sockets on the texture coordinate node to get different results. Enter 30 as the scale on the mapping on all three axes. Press the space bar to play the animation. We will now look at the render and output settings. In the render properties, I will use the EV render engine. Bloom can also be used if you like. I did not use Bloom for the animation. For the output settings, click on the output field and select an appropriate location. Click on the file format and select FFmpeg to create a movie file. Select an encoder. I normally use MPEG-4. Then select an output quality. For the music to be included in the movie file, an audio codec needs to be selected. To render the animation, click on the render menu, then render animation. If you found this tutorial useful click the like button and subscribe for further tutorials.